Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about all things money. Today's video is going to be a budgeting video. We are doing another budget with me in my budget planner, and this one's going to be a little bit different because we are going to be talking about budgeting in uncertain times. So we have a lot going on in our current climate in this season um, and a lot has changed with my budget mainly because we have changed all of our efforts everything that we were doing before with sinking funds and saving for vacations and all of this other stuff has changed drastically due to the coronavirus and how that has played a part in our financial setup. So I will be talking you through about the changes that we have currently made because of um, the virus and how it has changed our income overall. So we're gonna be talking about that and talking about um, just what we're gonna do going forward until we get past this. So the first thing that I did was start on this sheet here. I basically started um, writing out what next week's plans were and I started making a phone call, a couple of phone calls and making some changes here. So the first thing that I did that I wanted to talk about is cancel all upcoming trips. If you remember a couple weeks ago, I did do my sinking fund spread and I was showing you guys how we saved 5,000 in our emergency fun we had an upcoming anniversary trip I had um, the BYOB conference and Alyssa's birthday so Alyssa's birthday is still on here because I am just hoping that we will get past this by her birthday which is May 6th um, but the upcoming anniversary trip that was in April, it was April 16th through the 19th, we did cancel that. It was a trip to Chicago and the BYOB conference, I really, really wanted to go, but I just, I don't like to um, take money and put it aside for something unless I am really certain that we are going to be able to do it. And right now it's way more, um, necessary to keep the money set aside for essentials because we are on variable income and since we're on variable income and we don't know our income fluctuates you know from month to month we need to be way more careful with our income so I did cancel this trip also so with that being said all of the money that I had saved toward these things are now going to be extra in our emergency fund because basically we have all of these things but now I basically need an other category to just kind of carry us through this COVID-19 um, pandemic. So that was the very first thing that I did. The second thing that I did was um, I called to defer my student loans, um, which if you have student loans, they do have an option right now. It's actually a button on the site when you first log into your student loans that if you need to defer or do any type of forbearance because of the pandemic, you definitely can do that. So that was the step two that I did was defer my student loans. And I also called um, the IRS because I am currently paying on back taxes. We have a payment plan with them. So in upcoming April, I did ask them to get that reduced so that we would not have such a large payment. We are currently paying like $612 a month, but we asked to get that reduced just for a short time to $300 until we could get past this. And we are currently on a no spend month. So that means our groceries, we are set it at $150 a week. Um, and gas is at $100 and then that's it. We are not spending on anything else. No clothing budget, no anything else until we get past this. So now I'm going to do next week's budget and we are going to walk through what we are planning for next week. So let's go ahead and get started.
So our income hasn't been drastically affected yet, but I am expecting it to be affected a little bit in the upcoming weeks. So I do want to set aside some additional savings just to prepare for when that time comes. But the first thing that you know I put on every budget is our tithe, and then I will do our offering. And then the next thing will be our savings. So I've added in um, a tithe offering savings food budget, which is 150 to taxes because I could not change that until next month. The health insurance is 505. Intergy is $102. The car note 300. And then I put $100 down here for gas. The balance, which will stay in the account, will go on this line here. So we're going to add this up and see where we end up. So the balance is $52.36. Um, basically, when I get paid, I will write down all of the actual amounts here and then check off that it's been paid. And then at the bottom here, I will keep a total of the income and all of the expenses. Now, I, I used to do this calculation when I'm doing my preliminary budget, but lately what I've been trying to do is add anything extra that kind of comes in, like any extra expenses, anything miscellaneous, right in this section here. And then that way, when I do the totals at the very end, um, it is like my reconciliation to make sure whatever this balance here is, here is is what exactly i have in my bank account i also like to do that with my income like this is the preliminary income and then i will jot down any additions here put the total here and then that way when i am doing my um, summation at the bottom i know exactly how much i have gotten in and gone out for the week and it has really been working out well for me. So those are the changes that we're making during this very uncertain time. If y'all have anything that y'all have been doing or any resources that you know about um, to kind of help people out, please, please, please leave them in the comments below. I definitely want to keep the conversation going because a lot of people are going through a very difficult health time and financial time in this season. So we definitely need to reach out and help as many people as we possibly can with the resources that we know. So y'all make sure that y'all do that and I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.